Well, as you can see over my shoulder here, we have uh, the outdoor garden cabinet in the Kime Courtyard. And we're doing this as a demonstration project to show green roofs could actually be put on a fairly small area. The building, however, has to sustain the weight of a fairly heavy roof. I estimate probably about uh, a ton and a half of weight on top of the green roof. It's all two by six construction. The joists are two by six, they're uh, 16 inches on center. We have some interesting material here. The black band around there is a PVC or a black polyethylene, I should say, uh, material that's about one third to one half the cost of the normal aluminum edging. Goes up very, very quickly. So uh, this is a demonstration project. It's not really a research project, but we are putting some uh, of our research techniques that we've used in other locations, such as seeding. Uh, we're trying out some plants, some of which I've collected in the far panhandle from the sand hills. And uh, there are at least four native sedges that have done fairly well uh, in the greenhouse. We'll see how they do on the green roof. Uh, we've got uh, some plants that I received seed from uh, a commercial uh, uh, operation that uh, grows plants for rock gardens. And so we're gonna try a couple of those up there. This is a little bit unusual because it is sloping and we had a heavy rain the other night and we got a little bit of slop over, but that'll go away once it gets completely covered with plants. So who knows, maybe in the future we're gonna see people with garden sheds and, or garages that wanna beef up the structure that go ahead and put a, uh, a green roof on it. Those green roofs will obviously cut down on the heat load unless you have an air conditioned garage and it'll help uh, improve some of the neighborhood aesthetics and it gives you another place to grow plants.